what, what worries you about what might happen to people? Well, there are probably four key things um, that cover the transport arena, and probably the first two bear are on citizens quite directly, the second two perhaps more on businesses, though of course those businesses yep. employ people. So I would kind of categorise them as first ensuring uh, that there is continuity of travel for people. Um, and this is of course equally true under no deal and uh, deal scenarios, as uh, Mr. Um, Wormald has indicated. Uh, so that's whether it's by air, road or rail, we want to ensure there is uh, not disruption to uh, travel uh, for citizens or businesses. Uh, we want to minimise any burdens that citizens may bear as a result of leaving the um, EU. So, for example, in the area of driving permits, etc., we're very keen uh, to ensure that additional burdens are not placed on citizens unnecessarily. I think in the other two areas I would point to, which are very important for the transport sector, but probably bear less directly on sort of members of the public, uh, would be around ensuring that we have continuity of approvals and standards and licensing in areas like uh, vehicle type approvals, in areas like aviation security and maritime security. These are uh, very important, I think, to the transport sector uh, and to the economy. Uh, and, uh, and finally, we are, of course, on a contingency basis, uh, making sure that there are uh, arrangements in place to deal with any uh, traffic disruption which could occur particularly around Dover and Kent um, as a consequence of a no-deal Brexit or indeed for other reasons actually um, but we are putting in place so those are probably we've got 17 work streams so obviously it's a lot more complicated than that the totality of my department's work but if I were kind of grouping them under themes those would be uh, the four areas that I say we are working extremely hard to ensure we have sensible arrangements in place to cover. That's very helpful. Can I take the last of those? Yeah. Um, those contingency plans are looking at what you do if there's queues of lorries. Now, as I understand the government's position, it is in the event of a no-deal Brexit, uh, the government would not be planning to do additional checks on lorries arriving from the continent. But what we don't know is what approach the French and Belgian and other authorities would take to lorries leaving the UK heading the other way. And so eventually, if there were queues in Calais, yeah. there would be a backing up of lorries. Is that, is that what you're particularly concerned about? So obviously our arrangements, and this is partly a question about border control. Yes, indeed. So well, obviously yeah. uh, Mr. Thompson will have more to say than I. But uh, our arrangements, the arrangements that my department is making, are in relation to disruption which might lead to a backing up of lorries on the UK side of the border. Yes, Clearly that is all that we can ourselves uh, prepare for and control. Uh, and so that is what my department's um, preparations are focused on. Um, as you say, uh, we do not control what the French may decide to do by way of checks on their side of the border. Uh, and as I say, that's as much to do with border checks, I think, as to do with traffic disruption. So possibly a question for, for Mr. Thompson. And that, presume, that includes very practical arrangements. And Philip Rycroft said you'd be the one who'd answer this question. Can you confirm that the government has signed a contract with providers of portable loos in case they're long queues of lorry drivers? Um, I'm not sure I can confirm the exact contract is in place. No, I can confirm that there are advanced plans for dealing uh, with lorries on the M20, on the M26, and if needed, at Manson Airport. Well, and obviously, as part of that, um, ensuring we would want to ensure that the necessary arrangements Fine. are in place. Now, when uh, you say you can't confirm well. whether a contract is signed, is that because you don't want to tell the committee that one has been signed, or you don't know? It is because I don't know that it, uh, I don't know for sure whether a contract has been signed at this point. Oh, because it was reported that it has been. So well, it may. It, in which case, uh, that may well be true. Um, I'll tell you what would be very helpful to avoid me it's calling another member of your department who does know the answer to come before the committee, if you could just confirm that, because it, it is an um, indicative of the degree of planning that is taking place. Uh, by the way, we have, we, I would just say on this, we do have experience of dealing with this and working with local partners Operation and how we're going to yeah. do it, including for port -a So this isn't a particularly um, unusual okay. or difficult thing, I think, uh, to, uh, to be arranged. Okay.